Hello, so today I am going to outline my BlizzCon 2014 plans. As it's turned out with um, just me being really busy with university, I don't actually have a video prepared for today, so I'm just going to do this one because it's probably worth explaining just what the hell I do at BlizzCons um, to everyone. Uh, because the last time that I did BlizzCon, there was like 5,000 subscribers in the channel. There is now nearly 45,000, which is pretty awesome, but of course that means a lot of you are not really, um, you know, aware of how I do BlizzCon. So, you are going to get a lot of videos, it does sort of depend on what happens, but essentially BlizzCon is at um, Friday at I think 11am California time. Now, that I think equates to about like 7pm or something like that where I am. However, what's going to happen is that from 7pm till 4am my time, I will be pumping out videos on everything that I find interesting. So you'll get something about the opening ceremony and the big announcements there, you'll get something about the Warcraft movie, Basically, every new shiny thing at BlizzCon, you'll find out about it within hopefully an hour and a half or, you know, very quick of it, of it happening on the channel. You get a video with maybe some thoughts and speculation. Now, that's going to happen on both Friday and Saturday, and I'd imagine that maybe on Sunday there will be just some follow-up videos. Now, the videos I'm going to do from probably Monday to Wednesday next week are maybe going to be more quickish ones that I can just do based off BlizzCon information. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be basically doing a lot of work with my Warlords of Draenor launch guides, trying to get them polished up to speed and making sure they're really good. So yeah, BlizzCon is it's going to be a crazy weekend, but there'll be a lot of videos from it. It could be somewhere in the region of maybe four to ten videos per day, depending on the various announcements. So yeah, apologies if it does come off as spamming your feed, but the, you know, the response to it uh, was very positive last BlizzCon. So that's really what I intend to go through this time. So that's basically the plan. You'll you'll find out everything that you need to know on the channel, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you can't, uh, if you don't really want to spend the twenty five pounds or forty dollars on the virtual ticket, then this is probably a, a decent way to uh, to get that information in a more sort of relaxed and chilled out manner. Now then, with all that uh, announcing and talking done, it's time to talk about speculation for BlizzCon and just what the hell's going to happen. So first I'll just run through all the major franchises and what I think will happen. For World of Warcraft, it's going to be mainly a look at what's going on in Warlords of Draenor. I'd say, you know, maybe the Tanan jungle raid, the, the sort of Hellfire Citadel style one. So we'll probably get a lot of talk about that, and they'll be showing off maybe some new features, perhaps the new transmog system that they're planning on doing that's a bit similar to Diablo's. So that's probably the, the main World of Warcraft thing. Maybe we'll get to see some of the character, like class-based customization things, like quivers, uh, vials of poison and stuff like that, because I do know they've been working on those at Blizzard. So yeah, that's the main Warcraft stuff. I think we may get a teaser at the next expansion, though I think what's very likely is that the next expansion will come out at a similar time to the Warcraft movie, meaning that Warlords of Draenor will last for, I'd say, about a year and three months. So a bit shorter than normal. That would mean that if they were to do a uh, maybe an October BlizzCon next year, then they would be able to announce the next World of Warcraft expansion at that and still have enough time to enter a beta. However, it is still totally possible that they will at least name drop or tease the next expansion at this BlizzCon. Next, moving on to Diablo, I think what they'll probably do is talk about the next expansion. Diablo is one of those games where you really do need a lot of content all the time in my opinion anyway, to really keep people interested. Now, do, do of course bear in mind that it's not a MMO with a sub fee or anything like that. It's an expansion game, so really what Blizzard, I think, I well, what's the most profitable for them, right, is just for people to buy the game, play it for a fortnight, and then just buy the next expansion whenever it comes out. So I'd say that, yeah, they'll probably prioritize some sort of expansion. However, I do remember talking to uh, Bay on Final Boss about the idea of there being patches or maybe DLCs, or just smaller bits of content that they could add to Diablo 3, maybe every month or two months or three months, but enough just to keep people coming back. So I'd say that could be a really, that would be a really cool plan if they announced it, but I'd say most likely we'll get some sort of Diablo expansion announcement, and it will either be to do with Leah, or it will be to do with the stuff that was hinted at at the very end of Reaper of Souls. Next, for StarCraft, well, I think it's pretty obvious that we're going to get Legacy of the Void. I remember Blizzard saying they wanted to do a StarCraft expansion, was it every year? Or something like that, after Rings of Liberty? So that hasn't really happened, and it's nearly two years. Yeah, by the time Legacy of the Void comes out, it probably will have been two years since Heart of the Swarm, so they really do need to announce it pretty much now, honestly. Um, so that should be fun. Hopefully they've got some stuff to spice up the gameplay a bit, because... 
Really, I think that some of the design decisions that went on for Heart of the Swarm led to just some very stagnant and boring strategies in the multiplayer. So yeah, that's what's going on with StarCraft. I'd say that for Heroes of the Storm, we'll get a open beta slash launch announcement, maybe some new heroes, new maps, that kind of thing. For Hearthstone, we'll get talk of the new expansion and perhaps the new single player adventure. It seems like the new expansion is going to be based off mechanized units, so that could be pretty cool. Also, from what I've heard from uh, just, you know, random sort of stuff, is that it's pretty likely that they are apparently going to launch a new IP at BlizzCon. Um, we'll see how that pans out on Friday. It's the sort of thing that would probably be announced during the, um, during the opening ceremony. Now, I have seen rumors about some sort of PvP Battleground game. To me, that is pretty much what Project Overwatch would be. It's something that I'd be very interested in. And when I say PvP Battleground, it seems like more of a action-oriented thing. You know, less numbers and stuff and more just action gameplay, you know, like you actually shooting a bow and just gameplay like that. I think it could be really fun and perhaps a little bit similar to that game that Crytek is currently trying to push out, the name of which I have unfortunately forgotten. Then, of course, we've also got the Warcraft movie, which I'm very excited about. I'd imagine that we'll just get the fully finished version of the teaser that they did at Comic-Con this summer. So I really think that will be very exciting. I, I can't wait to see that. Now, in terms of other things, we recently found out they're doing some sort of documentary about the 10th anniversary of the game, so that could be kind of interesting. But generally, I do like documentaries like that, so hopefully it comes off pretty well. And I think that's largely it for BlizzCon. We'll essentially get a new shiny in, I'd say, every IP, apart from World of Warcraft, well, Warcraft, and then we'll also potentially get a new IP. So while a lot of people maybe are not too excited for this BlizzCon because there's not a great deal in terms of World of Warcraft coming, I think it'll be very exciting for Blizzard as a whole, and I highly encourage people to try out the other games. I've been, well, okay, you can't really try Heroes of the Storm readily right now because of the beta stuff, or the alpha stuff, but Heroes is great, Hearthstone's great, and I think Blizzard are, they're just kind of nailing it there. They're doing really well recently, so it should be pretty cool to see how it all pans out. Anyway, that's just a rough little video of my BlizzCon plans and then also some speculation. Let me know what you think about what's going to happen in the con down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.